This is the first Halloween I've gotten really excited about in a long time and the reason is it's not just any Halloween this year. We have decided to host a party celebrating nearly Headless Nick's death day which is on Halloween but we're going to celebrate it a few days later and we've asked everyone to come dressed in their Harry Potter costumes. Yeah, I haven't worn a costume to Halloween in years. I know that I'm not, I'm not a very festive person. I'm a little bit of a Grinch for all holidays. Not this one though, because I am dressing up like Luna Lovegood and I'm really excited about it. She's one of my favorite characters in Harry Potter. Um, J.K. Rowling actually said that the actor who played Luna Lovegood in the Harry Potter films actually inspired the character in the pages of the actual books um, and that was the only character that did that for her. I have two stops to make today and then by that time hopefully my packages have arrived for the things I ordered online because I made sort of a hodgepodge. If you know me, I don't like crafts so I am not a DIY girl. I'm not going to show you how to make your own Spectre Specs. I ordered, I ordered them. But first, let's go to the store. year I get into a mood where I have to I'm sorry I'm angry I just I have to be immersed in the Harry Potter world I it's like I'm so unsatisfied with this world I don't want to be a muggle no more I just want to live in that world at the thrift store getting the actual outfit. This is my dog Padme. Maybe she can go as Dobby. Oh, do you want to be Dobby? Luna Lovegood has several different outfits in um, the movies and in the books, but I'm just gonna go for this photo right here because it's the most fun. I wasn't able to get a pink pea coat, but I was able to get this sort of like tweed looking purplish coat, so I think this will work just fine. I also found this at the thrift store, which I think was my best find. It looks really similar to the skirt in the photo there. And I also have these little leg warmer things that I'll put over my tights. And this awesome bag that looks really similar to the type of bag that she has in the photo. And as you guys saw, I made my own little Quibbler magazine upside down, right? Because that's, that's how, um... That's how she reads it on the train. The other thing I got at Target are these earrings. In the photo, she's wearing some wacky earrings. In the book, she wears radish earrings, um, but I don't want to make my own, and to me, these sort of look like radishes close enough, and I feel like I could wear these later. And at Target, I also got some blue tights. I forgot to show you, I also got these high tops. In the photo, she's wearing more like sparkly high tops, but this is what they had at the thrift store, and I think it just, it works perfect. I need to curl my hair still. I think I'll do like the, you know, the cur- the, I don't know hair. And, um, and I have my quibbler. But I feel like I'm missing a couple things. Padme, who is it? <gasps> I ordered these on Amazon and they came just in time. These are the Spectre Specs as featured in The Quibbler. As you can see, they're very important to Luna's character. I think this really ties it in. But I have one more thing. She wouldn't be a wizard without her tie, no, not a tie, hold on, without her, whoa, <laughs> that's a good wand. You might be wondering, Hannah, why, why spend money on a wand for a costume you'll wear maybe twice? This is really an investment, oh my god, it's like heavy, this is good, this is nice. Expecto Patronum, Wingardium Liviosa, Spediamus, Avada, just kidding, I would never do that spell. As for the tie, I don't, it doesn't make sense for Luna to be wearing the tie at this 
in this outfit exactly, Eric needs needs a costume. Eric and I are both Hufflepuffs, so I don't want to I don't want anyone thinking we're, you know, abandoning our house or anything. About Luna Lovegood you might not know if you are the type of Harry Potter fan who's only ever seen the movies you can't see behind these specter specs when I'm rolling my eyes a true fan would read the books because the books carry so much more information about the characters about the storylines and um, Luna Lovegood is one of those characters that you learn a lot more about in the books. Even though we meet her in the fifth book, The Order of the Phoenix, we also um, get a little glimmer of her by a different name. When J.K. Rowling was writing the book, Luna Lovegood initially went by the name Lily Moon, and she is mentioned in The Sorcerer's Stone or The Philosopher's Stone if you're from England, and later J.K. Rowling decided to change the name, and then in the fifth book she has her actual name Luna Lovegood and that is when the, the gang meets her. While the movies indicate that Luna and Neville end up marrying, actually what happens that J.K. Rowling explains to us is that Luna marries Newt Scamander's grandson. His name is Rolf Scamander and he is a magizoologist just like his grandfather and so he and Luna get along just great and it actually makes a lot of sense. Another fun fact that we learn in the books is that Harry and Ginny eventually have children and they name one of their children after Luna giving their daughter Lily her middle name, Lily Luna Potter. Thank you so much for watching this very odd episode on my channel. I'm not a costume person. I'm not a craft person. I am a Harry Potter person, so I actually have been wanting to make more Harry Potter videos, but I've held myself back. This is me holding myself back, guys. Have a great Halloween. I'm Ivana Lynch, the girl who played uh, Luna Lovegood in the movies, is vegan, and she endorsed my friend's book. This one right here. Go check it out.